All right, let's make this fat loss serum. All right, Will Tennyson shoulders, Coach Greg's energy and calves, Jesse's abs, whatever the hell sush is, and the magic sauce. A bigger Please work. going on everybody Jesse James West here I hope you are all having a fantastic day today we're gonna be going over how I lost 25 pounds of fat over the course of a year and how I went from fat Jesse to shredded Jesse in no time I learned a lot along the way and I want to tell you guys exactly how I did it show you guys some recipes and my diet that you guys can try out that way you guys can get shredded too I promise you I'm gonna be telling you things that people are not saying there's a lot of really good information that I can tell you so let's dive into it I'm super excited to to get this video rolling if you guys are new to the channel please consider hitting that subscribe button it means the absolute world to me road to 100k we're almost there hit the like button if you're feeling generous up to you no pressure and also comment down below and let me know what your goals are right now are you bulking are you cutting right now i'm trying to get a little bit leaner because your boy might be hopping on stage soon let's get inside and cook up meal number one All right, so as you guys just saw, I'm weighing in a little bit heavier than usual. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably the McDonald's cheat meal video I did. That is gonna be tip number one, where you guys need to be tracking your weight every single day. It leads to better consistency, it leads to better fat loss. It's good to know how much weight you're losing. And I'll go over a little bit more detail of how you can calculate your deficit, which is the additional calories burned below your maintenance level. So I'll explain all that in a little bit, but for right now, always track your weight in the morning, after you go to the bathroom, before you eat. And I promise you, you'll be able to see the trend going down if you're doing it correctly. Welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Kitchen. Today we're cooking up the wonderful, the glorious, not myself, but French toast. We're sipping on liquid dopamine a little bit more today. <sighs> dopamine and caffeine merch now available, that's all I'm gonna say. I'll put the recipe on the screen, but if you want to see how to make it, check out my other video. I'll link it in the corner. Hit the eye in the corner. Get yourself a scale so that way you can weigh your food and then log it in an app. Let's dive into cooking this bad boy up so we can get some breakfast. moment you all have been waiting for, my beautiful diet French toast. You're probably like, Jesse, how do you eat French toast and get shredded? Well, guess what? And when you eat Jesse's French toast, you're always getting shredded. Mm. You can eat various things that are low calorie, high in protein. Don't be afraid to really add some flavor to it. A little extra cinnamon, a little extra stevia, keep it nice and healthy, but also really fuel the taste buds. Let's dive into this and then go over some more tips. Last bite, I'm gonna miss this best bite. So you guys were probably thinking that that meal is gonna be over 500 calories, but it's actually not. 27 grams of protein, 64 carb, and literally one fat. As you guys see, you can eat really tasty foods and kind of sugary foods if you make them the right way and you kind of modify them to be a diet version. So that's gonna be another tip and to make sure you guys enjoy yourself and cook really good meals and try to just get creative. So for the next tip, it's gonna be to go on some morning walks. I call them my meditational morning walks. I absolutely love doing them. They help me come up with great ideas. They help me clear my head and kind of go from one thought to the next. But most importantly, it's no effort to burn some extra calories. And if you do it enough, it adds up to hundreds of calories per day. Until I started going on morning walks, I was struggling to lose any fat. So if you guys just implement them, just two sessions, 30 minutes each per day, hell, I think you can be shredded. Now the next step for me would be to make sure I can get 30 minute sessions in in other portions of my life. But we're still trying to build that up. So pretty much if you could find some extra free time during the day, whether you're answering emails, you're drinking your coffee in the morning, or just something that you can kind of overlap the time with, Go for your morning walk or go for your daily walk during that time and I promise you, you'll see some great results because you're gonna be burning more calories than you really think. It's all about increasing the neat calorie burn and that's how much calories you're burning just by moving natural amount. So if you can increase that, you're in a good spot and I promise you, it'll help a lot. That literally just rhymed really well. If there's any girls out there that liked poets, I'm your guy. 
All right, guys, we're in the car with my boy Stelios. We have to wear masks because he's going to school very, very soon. We decided to get some coffee, and obviously, I don't think we thought this through, so. Um. Yeah, so, is it an addiction if every single person's addicted to caffeine? I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. But I'm gonna be the first to admit that I got an addiction. <laughs> if you guys are dieting, I definitely recommend getting some decaf coffee. This is caffeinated, but I'm trying to not make you guys addicted as well. Helps you get past the hunger, that way you can make it a little bit longer. So I'd rather have a 30 calorie coffee than kind of get too hungry and have like 200 calories worth of some sort of snack. So it's now time to have some lunch, and this is where it's really important to get high volume foods to hold you on throughout the day so that way you're not overeating. So what we're gonna do is a salad along with some fruit, and the main portion of this is my sauce selection. It's all super low calorie, and if you guys put this on the boring food, it makes it really tasty. That way you guys can still have low calorie food and get something really awesome out of it. So for lunch, we have some grilled chicken, we have some strawberries and a salad. Tastes really good. I have all my sauces on there. I went with the bacon sauce, because who doesn't like bacon? Oh yeah. Well, let's go over some tips. So first and foremost, always have a full glass of water before you eat if you're trying to lose weight and eat less calories. It's gonna help you maintain the fullness a little bit better and you won't eat as much because you're gonna be a little bit more full from the water. Next is to always make sure that you are tracking your food. I use the app called MyFitnessPal, and as you see, this is kind of the process of me logging my food. It makes it super easy to keep track of everything and ensure that you're not going over your calories. So let's dive into this bad boy and eat all this meat. Last bite, best bite, baby. But we got dessert coming. All right, and for dessert, you already know the vibes. If you're not eating ice cream in the sun and tanning at the same time, it's less anabolic, less fat loss, I promise you. So I actually, I invested and got some to-go size syrups. I was bringing too many on first dates, so they got too angry, so. Diet ice cream is the move with a little bit of sugar-free syrup. If you haven't tried it, give it a go. Cheers, everyone. So the macros for that meal were 58 grams of protein, 87 carb, and 18 fat. All right, so we're about to go smash this lift, and then let's go over the most important tip of them all. All right, guys, we are in the basement. We are gonna take some pre-workout, but of course, you already know, since I'm already caffeinated from caffeine, we got the Transparent lab stim-free. I'm gonna be rocking it, and we're gonna do one scoop just to get a little bit of the juices flowing. All right, you guys can use my code JESSE at checkout for 10% off. Supports me directly. And actually I heard that it uh, makes you like 5% leaner, but that's just a weird statistic. Cue the 80s retro music. All right, I'm ready to work out now. All right, so if you guys are looking for a workout plan, a girl just texted me. Well, let's go, baby. Not kidding. High five, mom. My mom's going. <laughs> so if you guys are looking for, not a girlfriend like me, but if you're looking for a workout plan, Mom, where, where should they go? JessieJamesWest.com. <laughs> you heard it from her. We're gonna dive into the workout. I run the six day workout plan. So try it out because I know a ton of you guys are and you love it. Let the games begin. All right guys, so let's make a deal. If I hit seven on this, I normally only do five or six, but I need to push myself because I'm being a little bitch lately. So if I hit seven, you gotta hit the subscribe button. <laughs> important to hit your heavy sets in the beginning. Don't forget about your strength training. It's just as important as hypertrophy. After this flat bench, we're gonna move on to some lighter accessory work. So I'm just gonna dive into that because I really want to just get focused and show this weight. That's gonna wrap up the heavy main compounds. We're gonna move into our sub compounds. If you guys are curious how I structure my workouts, you can click the eye in the corner and go to my weekly workout routine. I go over everything really detailed, but just a quick rundown. I go heavy, medium, light, and then light. So let's get into the accessories. <laughs> Oh my god! 
I maneuver this thing so I can get like less of an angle, like I said, and it just fell in. A lot of you guys asked me if you can modify the programs that I offer, and the answer is yes. Like I have this machine here that I just got, and I love it, but since this is a single arm machine, I gotta do one arm at a time. So yes, you can modify the plans to whatever you need to do. Don't have cables, do dumbbells. Don't have dumbbells, do barbell. <laughs> I'm gonna do this workout next time I go on a date with a girl. Pop out that chest and be like, hey, what you doing later? And then she'll tell me to leave. for other things, my friends. Small calves, come on. Stop. <laughs> All right, beautiful people. We have ourselves some protein oats. We got two packets along with one scoop of Transparent Labs vegan protein, chocolate flavor. Absolutely phenomenal, but the game changer is not that. Take a little bit of this Ready Whip. It's only 10 calories per serving. No dairy, of course. You just put a little on there. Boom. Take a little bit of chocolate syrup, just a tad. Transform the entire thing into a pretty much ice cream sundae. It's beautiful, it tastes good, and it's only a few hundred calories. So I'm gonna dig into this, and then we're gonna go on our second venture of cardio, along with my father. You know, sometimes you guys are saying that we look alike. John? All right, comment below if we look alike. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig in. Last bite, best bite, baby. Down the hatch. All right, so that meal is only 32 grams of protein, 44 carb, and only seven fat. Keeping the fat nice and low, that's one of the best ways you can get more food in you for the least amount of calories. Now let's go for the hike, get our second cardio in, and go over the most important thing, which is involving your calories and how to be in a calorie deficit to lose fat. All right, guys, we are in the middle of the woods, in the middle of our hike, and we're gonna go over something. And if you think a man in the woods with a whiteboard is the weirdest thing you've seen, I need to think again. So we got the basics that we need to go over and understand first. So first things first, I'm the realist, but one pound of fat is 3,500 calories. One gram of carbohydrates or protein is four calories. One gram of fat is nine calories. And one gram of Jesse equals no girlfriend. I don't know how that got there. To make this easy as possible, we're gonna go over the four steps of fat loss. First one being, find your caloric maintenance level, which means how many calories you need to consume to maintain your exact body weight. And this is done with just trial and error. So for number two, you're gonna pick your caloric deficit. Now this can be adjusted. I recommend 250 to 500 calorie deficit. And if you do more cardio, you actually can intake more calories because you're gonna be burning more. Or if you do less cardio, you intake less calories. That way you're still burning and you're in that caloric deficit. For number three, we're gonna go with the train with a high volume, high intensity, and heavy weight. This is just gonna keep your size and build strength and muscle throughout your cut. Number four is the most important thing, along with being consistent, is to pick a plan that you can actually do for a long period of time. If you can't do it for a long period of time, it's never gonna work. So now let's go over how you find your caloric deficit. The first thing you need to do is weigh yourself daily, like I mentioned earlier, and then you're gonna find the average weight loss of the week. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that number and you're gonna multiply it by 3,500 because that's how many calories there are in one pound of fat. Then you're gonna take that number and divide it by seven days and that's gonna give you your daily deficit. So you know if you're in a caloric deficit or if it says zero, you're not in a deficit. And then you can adjust if needed. So let's say you lost two pounds over the course of a week on average. You take that number, two times 3,500, it's gonna be 7,000. You divide that by seven, now you realize that you're at a thousand calorie deficit, which is a lot. And then you adjust that if needed so you'd see that that's too much and then you can up your calorie intake. All right, my friends, I'm gonna get my ass out of this woods because it's getting a little weird out here. Let's get back home and cook up the next meal because we got something really good. Welcome back to another edition of Jesse's Kitchen. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a little bit of 
pizza cooking. Bowie, you want some pizza? You want pizza. Okay. So we're going to cook up some buffalo pizza bites, and we're also going to be cooking up some regular pizza bites. So let's get into the ingredients. So we got some shredded rotisserie chicken here. We got my magic rolls sliced up, low calorie, fresh basil and fresh spinach, our ranch sauce, hot sauce, basil leaves, garlic powder, onion powder, a little bit of low calorie prego sauce, cheese if you're gonna eat dairy, but I'm not going to, and some mushrooms because I always love some mushrooms. So let's get into how to make it. Now all these ingredients are not necessary, but they do make for a high protein, low calorie meal that tastes magnifico. Can you tell them Italian? Step one, line the pan with the bread. Step two, sprinkle on some of this low calorie sauce onto each one. Add all your seasonings. Then you're gonna add your fresh basil and spinach and just sprinkle these bad boys all over the place. Now for the best part, we add the meat. And we know we like a lot of meat. Next up, we're just gonna toss on a little bit of the ranch and a little bit of hot sauce. Keep things nice and spicy, that way we can feel something. Then put the oven on 400 degrees, toss it in the oven, and get cooking, baby. All right, everybody, it is time to indulge myself into the anabolic chicken pizza bites. And this is a fat loss meal. Like very low calorie, high protein. Mm. Last bite, I just want to tell you that I'm developing feelings for you, Bite. And I hope you feel the same way, Bite. Sadly, she doesn't. Oh, but I do. If you're not licking the plate, that means you're a bad cook. 48 grams of protein, just fantastic. 65 carb, only two fat. Keep the fat low and you will be diced. I really hope these recipes that I'm giving you are giving you different ideas, or inspiring you that you can diet too and enjoy your food, because trust me, that was fantastic. Yeah, so in the meantime, we're gonna have ourselves a little bit of a snack. We have one serving of popcorn and one plum, and then save our last meal before bed, that way we don't go to bed hungry. So I will see you guys then. <laughs> Beautiful people, we have ourselves 212 grams of cauliflower rice, some vegetables, seven ounces of chicken, and I am going to dig in because we loaded up with some G Hughes teriyaki. Mmm. People tend to binge at night, they tend to overeat at night, so by eating a big meal right before bed, or at least like an hour or two before bed, really helps get rid of those cravings. All right, so that meal was 54 grams of protein, 19 carbs, and four fat. Extremely low calorie. Literally the most filling meal of the day. All right, the moment you've all been waiting for, my final macros for my new diet plan. 222 grams of protein, 310 carb, and 36 fat. Trying a little bit of a higher protein diet for the next week or so. Pretty good total calorie count definitely still in a slight deficit. Guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. I truly appreciate you watching this far and I really hope you did learn something. We're at 89,000 subscribers by the time I'm filming this. It blows my mind every day. This is all because of you guys. You guys are making my dreams come true. I just wanna say thank you. If you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button and the like button. It means and helps me out a ton. But with that said, I'm gonna catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys stay relentless and I'll catch you in the next one.